Good morning, guys. It's moving day. <laughs> it is Saturday, probably around 7 in the morning, and we are working to pack up all of our things so that we can move to Dallas. For those who don't know, I currently live in Houston. Officially tomorrow, I will not be living there anymore. We're moving to Dallas, so we're gonna have to take a four hour drive tomorrow with a U-Haul truck, getting everything there. Gerard is actually gonna be driving the U-Haul and I'm gonna be driving my car. I'll probably pack some of my stuff in there and then we'll have to unload everything once we get there. And we're hoping that we won't get out of here too late tomorrow, so we're gonna have to work all day today to get everything done. And we have a lot to do. Babe is currently breaking down this bed. We're giving all of our larger items to a friend of ours. I'm so glad we found somebody who is in need of these items. And the great thing is they were also a victim of Harvey. So to be able to give it to them is such a blessing. So we're just getting everything together for them and also trying to get the rest of our stuff boxed up. And many of you guys have asked to see my wig collection. I'm kind of embarrassed to show you all what it looks like right now, but y'all don't judge me. Don't judge me. So let me turn it around so y'all can see what we got going on. So this is what things look like right now. So all of the wigs that I'm keeping are just in boxes over here. This looks really bad, <laughs> but I'm gonna get it more organized once we get to our new place. The bed area, mm, I ain't even gonna show y'all what that looks like because we got stuff all under the bed. Y'all know y'all do that too. The bathroom is looking a hot trash mess. So bad. And I'm just going through really fast. Oh my God, look at the kitchen. This is a hot mess. Ooh. Yeah, somebody has a lot of clothes. Gerard has so many clothes. <laughs> Like we literally bagged all of my clothes up. We literally got everything out of the closet and just put it into bags and organized it based on the type of clothing item that it is. So this is all my stuff. We have our pillows and blankets and things there. Our couch is just moved over to this area right now. Let me turn on the light in here so y'all can see. So we just have the couch, chairs, everything over here currently. And these are just all the items that are up against the wall. These are things that were given away. So yeah guys, pray for us because we have so much to do today. We're probably gonna be working into the night to get everything out of here and also to get everything clean because your girl wants that deposit back. When we officially move to Dallas, I'm gonna have to get back on my grind because, oh, it's really bright because I've been eating like crazy. I'm super bloated today, but um, yeah, I feel like all the weight I've lost, I probably gained it right back. I keep looking up there, I'm sorry y'all, but yeah, stay with us. We're gonna show you all some of the process. Baby's working tirelessly. Don't y'all like to see a man at work? Just blesses your life, right? I know it blesses mine. Working hard, babe? Say hey to the people. What's going on, guys? Hey, Todd. We got up early. But we're going to keep working because we got to go to Dallas. have my hair braided this is like the perfect hairstyle for moving I am in love with it Ooh, let me take that out what is that 
if y'all haven't seen the tutorial y'all definitely need to check it out to have all my hair back off my face and that got to be glue has my hair really laid it's not frizzy or anything i'll probably be sweating later but it's gonna keep me together <laughs> We need some help. By the time y'all see this, we would've already solved our problem, but I thought I would bring it up just for those who might be moving and you might need a little bit of help. So, I was talking to my trainer and she suggested that we clean everything out, well not clean everything out, we take everything out. Y'all see, we got all the big stuff out. It looks a mess, but we got all the big stuff out now. And this one here did a good job. He had a great system and everything. He made up for earlier this week. But, <laughs> we're trying to figure out, if we get everything out of here, put everything on the U-Haul, if we get somebody to clean the place, do y'all think that's a good idea? Gerard said that's lazy. I think Straight lazy. it helps to relieve us of some stress of having to get it all out, then clean the place, and then have to get on the road for four hours. You might, you might end up paying twice. I don't think that's gonna be. You might you might have happens. to pay the person who cleans it, and you still might have to pay the apartment. Why would I have to pay them? You know they're they gonna, gonna do a great job. You know they're gonna come. They're gonna come up with something. My trainer said that the cleaning company that she suggested does a really great job. Do y'all even clean apartments before you leave? I typically do, and you I'm able to, to get my. Well, she said she. <laughs> She ain't getting no deposit. She, she wasn't worried about her deposit. You know, when she was younger, they would do she that. She might get hit with a bill, too. I don't know. But she's like, when she was younger, they would just leave the apartment, not clean it, because they weren't concerned about the, the deposit. But now you want your depart deposit back. So I think that's a good idea. I think what we should do, because we have our bed frame out, we just have a mattress here currently. So I'm thinking we should get everything on the U-Haul, call this company to clean the place and we sleep comfortably in a hotel tonight i like that idea you like it y'all he looking all scruffy I'm, he left his um no, he no, left no. his clippers in dallas we can put the mattress on the floor and get it clean i think <laughs> i think we should go to a so hotel so you too good to sleep on the, on the floor i'm not too good but it would be more comfortable no, I mean, and as I long said, as we together, I thought we were supposed to be comfortable. Yeah, babe, but it would be even better if we were able to do a little staycation. This is a perfect opportunity. Staycation. It's our last day in Houston. Straight lazy. So. Don't want to clean. <laughs> you are, no. And y'all should have saw Gerard she all throughout this to week. sleep on the floor. I'm not. So that's how you translate that. Guys, I, that's, that's, how, that's what it reads to me. I think most people would think that's very reasonable. Most people don't even want to drive four hours to Dallas like most people would say oh we're just gonna have our stuff shipped there they would do other things that are more convenient I think you should work smarter not harder okay. so if you get somebody else to clean it I think yeah, that's a good I'm idea good. typically I've had to clean everything I've never used a cleaning service and I think that would be a good idea especially if it's not expensive like what y'all think give me your feedback yeah, Alright. What happened here? Look at this. This is ridiculous. Take care of your stuff, people. Take care of your stuff. Look at what Gerard got in his hand. What is that, sir? He loves some chocolate chip cookies. Had to get him a quick snack. Somebody didn't make breakfast for 
There was so much stuff in front of um, yeah, yeah, I know. the stove. I make breakfast every day. Yeah, he makes us eggs every day. on camera today. I see you Franklin Pierce. Babe, what's up with you? <laughs> All right, so we're about to head to the U-Haul place. I'm tired already. It's only 10 o'clock. Get it together, Mary. Does anybody hate moving as much as me? Like I literally abhor this whole process. Somebody's got to do it. Right, babe? Yeah. Somebody like me. <laughs> I've been helping a lot. You've been awesome. So, I think we made the decision to get somebody to clean our place. I called a few places and I found one place that actually will clean the place. And the starting rate is only $193 for one bedroom, one bath. So that's affordable. So we're gonna make it happen. And I think tomorrow we're probably just gonna stay in a hotel and just relax until we have to get on the road on Monday. We were originally gonna leave on Sunday, but now that we're gonna have somebody else clean it, I think what we're gonna do is just have them clean. She said max, it should take like four hours. So they're gonna clean the place and then we're gonna actually just go check into a hotel. And on Monday morning, we're gonna get up super early and head back to Dallas because we have to have our U-Haul turned in by 11. Somebody's out here morning grass. I don't know if y'all can hear that, but yeah, I'm really excited because now I don't have to be stressed of having to get everything into the U-Haul and then actually clean the place thoroughly. Literally what we're paying for the cleaning service and also the hotel, it's just going to come out of the, the deposit, I hope. So I think it's worth it. What do y'all think? He know it's a good idea. Gerard, you know it's a good idea. You know this. It is a great I idea. A question about these things. No. Uh, yes. I can't see your face. Uh oh. Mark, don't show yourself. I'm trying to turn myself. Yeah, I'm talking to my um twin sister. This is her daughter Noelle. Say hey, Noelle. Hi. <laughs> Say it again to JJ. <laughs> uh, no Earlier, a little while ago, she said, hey, Auntie JJ. Why do you say Auntie JJ, baby? Why do you say Auntie? It's not Auntie, it's Uncle. She only said it because Mama told her. Good girl. Okay, Noelle. I like <laughs> your yellow shirt. It's so cute. <laughs> She's supposed to be in there. She's supposed to be in there with the other girls. Oh, let me um, let me take it off because she she's not Where dressed. You <laughs> Why you keep talking to Uncle JJ? What about me? I love you, Noelle. Hey, Noelle, boo. I love you. <laughs> yeah. Excuse me. That's cute. Yeah. I love it. Girl, you still look great. Look at yourself. That looks pretty. Martha, don't lift your dress up now. The people watching, the people watching, child. Huh? I know you're coming about and not doing nothing. That's what you would do when I came back earlier. Excuse me. You sitting down talking about something. Excuse me. I'm trying to get my ice cream. Excuse me. You don't have time for ice cream, sir. <laughs> Look on his face. <laughs> It was raining earlier. Y'all see how foggy it got? This is how humid it is in Houston. It's crazy.
Oh yeah, we got plenty of space. That was her best work, guys. <laughs> yeah, her best work today. I'm working hard out here. She's really working that camera. Jeremy's trying to make it seem like I don't do nothing. She's working when it's really camera. him. She's working that camera. Don't be tripping. She's working that camera. She's doing a great job. Get all my good angles. <laughs> do all that. You got me get my good angles. Got your good angles. You got me? Uh-huh. got me? Uh-huh. What is that pose? Oh, you still posing? Profile. What are you saying, man? You really working on camera. I know, right? I know you got my best angles. I know you got them. Yeah, I got your best angles. Y'all, for real, he get on camera and try to play. He know I did a majority of the work. I packed up all that stuff. Now all he gotta do is lift it onto this dolly and lift it onto the truck. I know, right? Great camera work. Great camera work. I got your great camera work. guys our place is empty and clean the cleaners did a good job getting everything out wiping everything down this was our master bedroom so they did that I guess we left the fan on this is the empty bathroom gonna miss this place clean everything you better, you better tell them but look what they did the cleaners broke our light fixture they said it was like that but um it wasn't so we're more than likely gonna have to pay for that or they're gonna dock us from our deposit unfortunately but anyhow so this is the other part of it hope it's not too much i don't know if y'all can see that but it's broken at the top it's our tub And then the kitchen. I think it was worth it. We ended up having to pay more than what we initially thought we were gonna pay. So they told us the starting price was 193, but the lady said because of the level of cleaning she had to do, it was 260. And we really didn't understand that because we had already done a lot of the work well, according to Gerard, he had already done a lot of the work with that little smug look on his face. But, um, yeah. Out with the old, in with the new. So we just finished eating. We're about to head to the hotel and there was some difficulty with our hotel uh, reservation, but we just got that situated, so. We're gonna actually go lay down. As you all can see, it's all in my eyes. I'm tired, I'm ready to lay it down. So we're gonna turn in our keys for this place. And Houston, we're gonna miss you. Right, babe? Absolutely. Yeah, so, have to go to Dallas tomorrow. After we lay it down tonight. Oh,